Hey, welcome back to Train OD. This is our Bikini Boot Camp series, and we are happy that you are here to join us. I am Carrie, and this is Aspen, and this is a full body workout. Uh, equipment that we need for today is a yoga mat, which is, tends to be what we need for every session, as well as some kettlebells. Um, we have a medium and a heavy weight. Um, we'll be using some holding them, we'll be using some squats, some lunges. So just have two weights available and you can decide which ones you want as we go along. Hopefully you've already done one of our warm-up videos. If not, stop this one, go do one of our warm-up videos and then come back to this one so that your body is warm and ready. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we are going to be doing is lunge hold with our kettlebells. So we're gonna be lunging. My right foot is forward first. You're gonna hold the lunge and we're gonna pull with your elbow going back, not out. All right, we're gonna do 10 on each side. All right, get into your lunge position and let's go for a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, switch legs. The left leg is now forward. And the kettlebell is also in your left hand. Get into your lunge position. Uh, forgot to mention before, but as you pull up, also lean a little bit over, okay? Get a little crunch in. All right, lunge, and let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, keep going, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest for just a quick second. We're going back and we're going to do three full rounds of this same exercise. So if you need to wiggle anything out, go for it. Otherwise, we're going back to our right leg forward, right hand holding the kettlebell. Balance yourself. And we're going for ten. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, switch legs. My left leg is forward, kettlebell is in my left leg. Lunge position, let's go for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got one more round to go. All right, right leg forward, left leg back, kettlebell on your right arm. When you feel balanced, let's go ahead and row for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left leg forward, right leg back. Get yourself balanced and for ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, set that kettlebell down. Shake it all out. Rest your grip and your legs for a quick second. Next thing we're going to be doing is kettlebell squat to high row. So we'll be holding our kettlebells, squat to where your kettlebell's touching the ground, and then high row up, all right? This one, if you have two different weights, grab a little bit of a heavier one. Remember, we're squatting as we come up. We're pulling it all the way up to our chest with our elbows out to the sides. All right, this one we're going to do timed for 30 seconds. So pace yourself. Do what you can uh, at a pace that's good for you. All right, let's go for 30 seconds. We're going to squat and then high row. All right. 
As you squat, try to pretend you're sitting down, sitting back, not necessarily leaning forward. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale one direction, exhale on the other. Last one. And rest for a quick second. We'll rest for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna do it again. Just like the last set, we're doing three rounds in a row. You got five seconds left. So go ahead and get your kettlebell back in your hands again. And we're gonna squat and high row for 30 seconds again. Let's go. Squat and row. All right. Remember your elbows are going out to your sides. Kettlebell coming about shoulder height. Make sure you're sitting back, not necessarily leaning forward, just to try to get your kettlebell to the ground. Getting a good squat in and rest. 30 seconds to rest again. If your grip strength is a little weak, make sure you stretch out your fingers a little bit because all that tightness will go all the way up into your shoulders and back. You've got five seconds left of your break. So go ahead and get ready. Grab your kettlebells. This is our last round of our squat to high row. Let's go. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good work. All right, next thing we're doing is high plank to row. So our high plank, we're gonna be on our hands. You can spread your feet a little bit to help with balance. Use your lighter weight for this one if you have a difference. And as you're balanced, we're gonna do 10 on each side. So the wad of your legs helps a little bit, and we're gonna row. So you're gonna be bringing your elbow back about here. Elbows going back, not out. We're gonna do 10 on each side. And once again, this is also three rounds. So we're gonna start on our right side. Take so it into high plank. Bring your kettlebell back. Kind of under your ribs, and we're gonna do 10 on the right side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome, switch sides. Also, as you're in high plank and kind of balancing on one side, try to keep your hips as level as possible. It's easy to Lean more to the side that has the hand down. So get into up in high plank position. And let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, come down for just a minute. And we're gonna do another round. Stretch out your arms real quick. Lengthen those muscles. You won't cramp as much. Put your wrist back. All right, right back into it. Back on our right side again for a count of 10. Get your legs positioned. Put your hand closer to the center of your body. And on the right side, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, left side. Also, make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath just because you're trying to get it done or go fast. 
Breathing is crucial to keeping your blood circulating and it gives you a much better workout. Even though you think holding your breath is going to be better. Left side for a count of 10. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we have one more round to go. So stretch on out. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your wrist. We just like taking 15 to 30 seconds. Quick break. And then we'll get right back into it. If you need a little bit longer of a break, pause it. If you need shorter, you know what the next round is going to be. Forward to the end of this one. And then join us for the next one. All right, let's get back into position. This is our last round. Back up into high plank. Right arm. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and left side. High plank, rowing on our left. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we finished that set. Our next thing is going to be explosive push-ups. So you have the option of full, pu full push-up position, or you can go on your knees. I'm going to show you on my knees. You still want your core to be engaged. Do not have your butt in the air. Keep it all engaged. And then as you come up, push-up. Okay? or come up and clap, make it fun, but it's explosive. So you go down, 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 and then push yourself way up. All right? This one we're gonna do for 30 seconds. So go at a pace that is good for you. If you gotta pause for a second, pause. Hold yourself up at high plank. Do what you need to do to try to stay engaged for that full 30 seconds. But once again, not overdoing it or having to get to a certain count. All right. Explosive push-ups for 30 seconds. Are you ready, Aspen? Let's do it. All right, let's go. 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Five seconds. And stop. Oh, goodness. All right, stretch out those shoulders. We got two more rounds to go. Remember, you can modify this one if on your knees is too hard. Go up to your feet, push yourself up. If it's too hard even on your knees, perfectly fine. Go as low as you can, come up as slow as you can. Just do what you can to keep yourself engaged and get yourself in like an explosive pattern. All right, let's go for round two. All right, core engaged and let's go. 30 seconds. Five seconds. And stop. 30 second break. And we'll go back and finish our last 30 seconds as we move on. Hmm. 10 seconds left. Catch your breath. If you're really out of breath, your hands up a little bit, open up that chest, take a couple deep breaths. If breathing isn't the issue and you're just hurting, your wrists are normally like this in your push-up, so stretch them in the opposite direction. 
We'll release those a little bit. All right, let's finish our last 30 seconds. Explosive push-ups. All right, let's go. Ten seconds. And stop. All right. We have one more exercise left of this workout, and it's going to be our kettlebell curtsy squat. So if you have different weights, grab your heavier one for this. We're going to start solid on my right foot. So my left is going to curtsy behind. Okay. And we're just going to curtsy on this leg for 10 and then we're going to switch legs. All right. Solid on your right. The left goes behind and let's curtsy for 10. One, two, three. You can hold it up this way too, if it's easier. Six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. All right. Right leg goes behind the left. Curtsy like a dainty little lady. And let's go for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent work. Two more rounds of that. So we'll just do a quick 15, 20 second break. We're gonna get right back into it. Finish this workout strong. Really big deep breath. Grab your kettlebell again. I prefer to hold it up like this. Makes it easier as I squat. Left goes behind our right. And let's go for a count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to your left. Ten. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We got one more round to go, and we're finished. Almost there, doing great. Things are getting tight, but it's a good one. So keep breathing. Chin up. All right, grab your kettlebell. Last time through. Left goes behind our right. And let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right goes behind our left for a 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, great work. Thank you so much for joining us for this bikini boot camp class. This was a full body workout, and we will see you next time. See you Bye. Later.